Yo, what's up guys, AFC Adino here and welcome to a new video. Uh, I guess we're really close to um, Veteran Trainer. I might as well go for it. We have some, we have three unfortunate losses. Um, it always happens, it always happens. You can never have a 100% win rate. I think the highest win streak we went on was like 30 plus. Uh, win and we basically went undefeated to uh, 700 plus or something. But yeah, it's still early, and my my voice is getting a bit sore, so it's gonna be not gonna do too much this game, not too hypey. But yeah, we're gonna be playing the same team. I don't think I'm gonna bring the double dance Renekless set. Uh, it's just too inconsistent, uh, in my opinion. Like Focus Blast always does something, always does something. The Psychic Focus Blast is such a good coverage. Um, I haven't been able to sweep with it yet. I think only once. Yeah, a lot of scissors running around. And last time I was facing Bandit Titar. Which was unfortunate as well. But yeah, as well as the, the last game we played with this team. That was so so fire. Like he had such a he had such a great team versus us. In terms of we uh, we being weak to him. Uh, like he had a switch to everything. Like uh, Weezing can come in on the Mian Show every time. And Polion could have come came in on oh. Polion could have came in on Weebell every time. Like those were my damage dealers. And then he had Oh shit. Oh shit, I don't like this. I don't like seeing this. If this if they are both HA, that would be super annoying. So what does he have? Lucario, Dragonite, Superior, Blissey, Chansey. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, what are we gonna do? Am I leading Weavile and just click Night Slash turn one? Is that is that the play? What if he leads D Knight though? Dude, dude, he leads off Blissey. Is that ah, that sucks. I don't like seeing this though. I really don't. I really don't like seeing this. But I don't know if this is T-Wave. This is T-Wave or Toxic. We do we do gotta keep Mandibuzz. Uh but if it's if it's T-Wave then Superior and Claire. That would be Reuniclus can actually be super awesome this game as well. I gotta keep Hip Island for Dragonite in case it is a dra Dragon Ascent or Bandit. But I definitely gotta keep Reuniclus. Um, gotta keep Mandibuzz for Chandelure, of course. So I think the least useful Pokemon is gonna be the Rotom. But this is such annoying, because if I click Debug and Superior comes in, it's gonna hurt so much. He clicks Flamethrower turn 1. So that's his set. That's so much damage though. So much damage. And because he doesn't see me being... Oh well. It's gonna go into uh, Miancho straight away. We have Regenerator anyway. And I don't know if he uses Toxic or Thunder Wave, but he clicks Stealthrock. That's fine. And his only switch is Dragonite or Chandelure, so I, I don't think he will stay in. I'm clicking. You're crazy. Oh well. Doesn't matter too much, as long as he doesn't get the Serene Grace rock on me. He's running full attacks on this guy. I am U-turning here, though. So we don't have any information on this guy. Um, I'm gonna go Mandibuzz. If I don't see an item, I'm U-turning. If I see leftovers, I'm clicking Foul Play. I don't see leftovers, so I'm U-turning here. He tricks me. I only need a Mandibus for this as well, so uh, actually for Superior too. But this is why I'm U-turning. Get him, Weevil. Let's see, Weevil. Weevil versus Shandalor. I don't. I'm pretty sure Pursue doesn't kill him. Yeah, we're just gonna. Nice slash here. 
as he stays in and I should knock him out. So, and the lure is gone, now I get to click close combat with me and shower a few times. Lucario comes in, uh, Lucario definitely has dark pills. Am I losing to Vacuum Wave? I think I'm losing to Vacuum Wave. I think I'm losing to Vacuum Wave. Let's see if Reuniclus can live Dark Pulse. I know I can live Arisphere, but... Yeah, I think I lost. I think we lost. I'm gonna die to Dark Bills. This sucks. I don't think we win. Because he's definitely inner focus as well. Yeah, there's no way. I think it's already over. Damn, we just we just straight up lose to Lucario. Okay. Then we play another one. Like, it's pointless. I already lose to Lucario. I didn't think about it that we would lose. But yeah, I don't have a guard or anything. Like, he sets up a nasty plot and it's over. So maybe I should have stayed in with Weavile, knowing this. Um, There's nothing I can do in that case. Like, Mandibus can live, in, can live a hit, but I only have foul play, which he four times resists being fighting in steel. And yeah, I think Reuniclus dies as well uh, to Dark Pulse anyway. Reuniclus to Reuniclus versus Lucario. Yeah, Reuniclus would have died as well, so it was just over in the moment he clicked Nasty Blood. So in that case, yeah. It becomes really difficult, of course. But if, that, if that's the case, maybe I should have foul played the chandelier, but still. Like, I'm pretty sure Miancha di di dies to uh, plus two. Miancha dies to plus two vacuum wave. I see Charizard, okay. If he's modest, I guarantee die. But it, actually, my Miesha could have lived. That's insane. So maybe I could have done it with Miesha, but he did have Stealth Rock up, and I didn't have a way of debugging. So that's you. Know, is that a Claydol? Okay, interesting. Let's lead Miesha, and we'll go from here. He leads the Renatar. Let's see. What is his close combat switch? Because Claydol, I'm completely fine with it. I'll, I'll U turn on the Claydol. Like, I don't know, I'll just U turn here. Should be switching here. He goes into D Knight. That is a lot. Oh, hold up. Maybe go Mandibus and let him fear the, the foul play. He leftovers. He is cut. Gonna U turn though. Assuming he wants to bring in something. Yeah, Skarm. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Get rid of the Rocky Helmet. That'd be helpful. I get him Rotom. I hit us have Claydol. Claydol is definitely a rapid spin, but he could have Stealth Rock and then make Skarmory perhaps Scarf. Uh, s spikes. But I can take an attempt in uh, Leaf Storming the Claydol. I, I don't do any damage here, but still a bit of damage I can defog if he decides to go for Stealth Rock. Um, but that kind of makes me read the opponent. Maybe he thought he could easily take Volt Switch. That could be possible. I can easily defog uh, them away. 
as he goes into Weavile. I actually don't have a good switch for Weavile. <laughs> His ice type attacks are definitely gonna hurt a lot. So we're just gonna go into Runiclus and hope he's choice bandit. If he's live warp, I guess it's still worth. Oh no. I have to speed die with this guy. Are you serious? This beat up. Why is he clicking Spear though? Hold up. I guess he doesn't have Night Slash. I do connect my attack. Cool. So Weavile's gone. Not sure why he clicks Icicle Spear. Maybe he didn't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> I think I'm better off staying in. Oh, he just forfeits. Um, what does it... Okay, we're still somewhat there. Let's take another one. Let's hope we don't turn into Lucario or Swords Dance Weavile. <laughs> yeah, our team is pretty Weavile weak. <laughs> we do have Fake Out though on, uh, on the Mian Chao to weaken uh, Weavile, but Weavile is definitely a big threat to our team. We haven't run into... into into too many Weavals, but now I'm getting two in a row. Ooh, it's a bit painful. Okay. He has a bunch of threats. He definitely has a bunch of threats. I'm gonna lead Miancha. And we're gonna hope for the best. He leads with Chester. It's gonna be the Weavile. I can at least fake him out there. Watch him go for fake out himself. <laughs> but I can fake him out. I at least want to get damage off on you, so... We already know his pressure. I get the crit. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I do like my Reuniclus though. But I don't have a nice type switch. I have to go Reuniclus. <laughs> yeah, these players will never run choice band. Okay, that's definitely choice band. Okay. Maybe he only gets two hits. Three. No, he gets four hits. And I can go weave all down. I know you're bandits. So I'm gonna pursue them. And then we're gonna try to get up rocks. Oh god, he's going for it, boys. As long as he doesn't get 5 hits. Oh well. Uh, okay, now I need definitely need Stall Rock up. But if I have Sandstorm up, it's fine as well. It's gonna fake out. I know he's switching, but... See how weak my team was to that, to that mod? It's actually insane. This is Rocky Helmet. I can just U-turn here. I have to rely on Mian Shadow to kill Togekiss, which I don't really like, but... If I can get up rocks, it's gonna be doable. Maybe I should have switched, but... Who would have guessed he stayed in with Weavile versus me? It is Draco Meteor, so. Doesn't do too much. And I gotta keep up the momentum. But the one Pokemon I can get up with Rocks versus is now this guy. Or Ferrothorn, but. Oh, there's the Togekiss. I can go Rotom, though, and Volt. Because even if he call mines up, he's still gonna do some damage to him. Maybe he's afraid of the trick. No, he, no well, that guy that guy ain't afraid.
Get him, Mendabuzz. Maybe he'll try to flinch me down, but let's see. I'm gonna try poisoning him. So now I'm hoping that he goes for heal bow or something, or doesn't flinch me. That would be ideal. Got a bit of leftovers back, and I can get in Mian Chao. Um, I think that's bold Togekiss though, so I need to fake out, fake out first. This is why I need a Stealth Rock versus him. He's at 68. I need to know if Close Combat is a, is a kill here. Me losing Weavile. Such a bad scenario for me. Okay. Level 50. It's normal flying close combat. I need to fake out first. Okay, this could be a kill. So now I'm definitely going for close combat. I cannot predict around here. He stays in, so hopefully he dies. And I and I hope he doesn't go weave out to pursuit me. Actually, gonna go directly into hippo if he goes weave out. I'm only at minus one, but it's gonna go hippo. Does switch? Yep. If he only gets two hits, I might be able to live uh, something. But I don't need Stealth Rock up as much. And he's dying to the Sandstorm, so that's good. I still keep Hippo alive as well. How do we beat this? I don't have Reuniclus. Clicking Roar. Because um, I don't want his Flame Orb to be activated yet. I want to be able to poison him later. Oh, never mind. It just kills me. Leftovers, please. Never mind. Okay. This is gonna be such an issue. I'm giving him too much credit, but <laughs> this call actually knocked me out. Oh wait, that did that did a lot. Hold up. You don't recover here, dude. I'm fine with taking this. Look at all this damage. Cool. And I can just click Leaf Storm because it hits Guard Chomp as well. Do I click Leaf Storm? Yeah. It hits Garchomp in case he switches. Why? That dude is insane. Why though? I guess he has Mens in the back, but still. Let's Volt. I would hard switch, but I can always go into Mandibus anyway. I am going Mandibus now though. So I can easily defog his, his shenanigans away with Rotom. I can now roost up my Mandibuzz, so I can actually switch it into Garchomp as he gyro balls. I guess he must be Rocky Helmet or something. Did I get my roost there? Get myself back to pretty much close to full HP. He gyro balls again. Interesting. Gonna U turn to guarantee him into close combat range in case he's max defense. Not sure if I can knock him out, but I just get Brodom back in and 
He's spamming Gyro Ball for some reason. Not sure why. Now he goes for Leech. And I get to click Hidden Power Fire on him. I have enough HP on the Mandib on the Mandibus now. Actually, I don't have enough HP. I'm at 61 due to Rocky Helmet. So what I'm gonna do, actually, I'm gonna double back into Mandibus because there's no way he's gonna click Leech Sheet on me. I can definitely see him going into Garchomp. Never mind. Well, the moment he runs out of uh, Gyro Balls, that's gonna be helpful as well. I'm just gonna Roost there. Well, I wanted this Pokemon in, so... I wanted this Pokemon in. This is the one I wanted to beat. As long as you're not choice banded, um, don't edge or something, like your stealth rock, okay? I can deal with this. And I can easily defog on a Ferrothorn as well. Okay, this is a bulky. Let's see. Clicking Toxic on you. Rock Slide, don't flinch me, mate. I swear, don't flinch me. Oh, he missed, okay. Toxic Stealth Rock, Rock Slide. Last move should be Earthquake. Which means I'm going into Mian Shell straight away. I don't want Mandibus Poison because Mandibus is going to be there for Mints. It's gonna beat Men's 1v1 by clicking Toxic. And I'm just clicking Close Combat here, even though I'm poisoned. Because we got the damage here. And I don't want Men Buzz uh, getting poisoned uh, for some reason. Or do I just U turn? I'm just gonna U turn. <laughs> Not playing me for a fool. I'm just clicking foul player. Getting damage on uh he can never kill me with the Rocky Helmet, so and by foul playing he can never go into Garchomp. And if he goes ferret when I get the debug with my Rotom. Yeah, he does go Garchomp. This is exact this is exactly what I mean. Okay, he does have enough HP. I think we just go Rotom then. Earthquake or Toxic, I assume. If he rock slides, that's fine. I don't need much HP on Rotom. I can, I can still defog on Ferrothorn, that's the most safest play. And he rock slides again, so good. Because I can still, I, I still have my Mandibus around full HP. And with, with Mia Shell in, I can just kill my Milotic from uh, 33%. And U turning this is pointless, so we just go straight into Mandibus. Roost again. Trickle Meteor won't kill me and now I can U-turn. If he stays in, I can get in Rotom. Uh, we can 
go for defog at, with him at minus two and with rocks being gone um it's much easier because i have two levitate users in case um parrot on his spikes And he does go into Ferrothorn, and that's ex exactly the one we needed to face. So now I can just go into Rotom, click Defog. Then we have Hidden Power Fire as well. Such a tough game against this man! It's, it's because we, we, we face Weavile. <laughs> But there's nothing he can do to stop my defog. He tries to leech my Rotom. And now we can just hit him power fire this guy. Amendabus is healthy enough to go into Settlements. My Mandibus should be slower than my Lotic, so I can always get the slow U-turn off as my opponent decides to forfeit. I mean, it was a bit of a boring game, but uh, we still pulled through. And I'm going to pause the video. It's going to be the last one using this team, guys. Okay, guys, about 15 seconds on the timer. Like We, we are really one win away from... Um, oh, my Dragon is pretty close as well. We are one win away. From getting uh, back into is this is that ace trainer or oh six it's six fifty I hate facing this team <laughs> okay done um we're leading me and shall I'm gonna fake out the um, aerodactyl then I'm just gonna click close combat or he goes into this. What was he expecting that I would lead off with? Gonna fake out there. This doesn't change anything. Uh, I still fake out. Um, these these Conkelders are usually life warped. So he doesn't get a free guts boost. Then I get to fake out damage of. Also, Mianshaw, not super necessary this game. Because Magnus is most likely scarfed as well. He goes Gengar, that's fine as well. I get him in the buzz. Get to click U-turn. And, we, and we'll go from there. But his team is definitely scary, man. Such So many offensive threats, like hyper offense. But he's not leading Aerodactyl. So that means he doesn't get up Rocks turn 1. And that means I can use Mandibus more. And he doesn't lead, go into the Gengar. I would... Really love to U-turn here, but I'd rather go Mandibuzz. Cause I don't know if this is Specs. Like, if this is Specs, he can knock me out, and I don't want to be in that position. But if he doubles back into, he should be fearing U-turn as well. Like, he can sub. He... I switch first, so he stayed in. Any Thunderbolts. So I get the U-turn here. I mean, he goes into Magnezone or something, and then I can get up rocks, which can help be super helpful. So weakening the Aerodactyl on Dragonite. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold the phone, hold the phone. No, this doesn't change anything. Um. Still going into uh, this guy. Now that I know Gengar is not specs, I'm just gonna click close combat on this because I, this is basically the third one I was anticipating anyway, F faking him out and then knocking him out with close combat. That was the turn one we anticipated. If he goes from Kelder, I'm actually gonna click, click clo uh, close combat again because hip out in his full HP so. Dragon Knight. I don't know if you're a bandit. I r would rather find out.
Okay, that's mixed D knight. Really important to know. Because I can defog on this. I can defog on this. Like, I live Draco Meteor, I still get the defog off, and he doesn't get up rocks anymore. This is the main job of Rotom. And there's nothing for this Rotom to do, so I'm just gonna leave Storm this. I will see what kind of guard jump this is. If I can get him in pursuit range, that would be nice, but I don't want to click pursuit on this team, so yeah, it is sub. It's gonna go Manda Buzzer. Oh, that's a, that's a nice play. How much how much damage did you do? Thirty nine percent. I am at thirty five. Um. Okay, we gotta go hippo now. He might. He's definitely gonna dragon rush here. So. This is not a two hit KO. I get up rocks. It's gonna home claw, but I can roar him out. I got up rocks, which is important. And Gengar might be scarfed, so we have to be mindful of that. We do have to be mindful of uh, him having that set. I have a second Mandibuzz here. I still have Reading Cliss as well, um, doing something. But all I need to do is get him into Icicle. All I have to do is click Icicle Spear. But I don't want. I'm surprised that he Home Cloud again because I have. Most of us have Roar. That makes me wonder. I'm gonna sec this. Should I go for the risky play? Should I? Going to Weavile. No, I think still still second this is fine. Because Ice Cold Spear, Spear will break his attack anyway, his thing anyway. Uh, I get to bring in Weavile. I don't see this guy's threat. I already noticed that, but now that I got up rocks. If I can get five hits on the Magna Zone, that would be awesome. He he decides to stay in, so I get rid of Garchomp. I still have Manda Buzz to come in on Gengar. He is gonna click Flash Cannon 100. percent Flash Cannon a two hit KO. Okay, so I like I like my Psychic on Hippo. Magnezon, Scar versus Magnezon versus Bowden. I just need to know if that's a 2 hit KO on me. Flash Cannon is not a 2 hit KO, so I can live too. But if he gets a Spadev drop, that would be horrible. That would be horrible. Oh, maybe I should have not have Rotom then. If I kept Mandibuzz, then Rotom could have still came in on this. Hmm, that's a misplay then. Uh, Reuniclus. How well does Reuniclus do? Reuniclus does better. Don't get a spadev drop on me. I hate this. Okay. I'm, I'm letting go of Mandibuzz.
That's my death drop, man. Hold up, is that a is that like a That might be a roll. Hold up. Please, please, live! Give get a low roll. No, never mind. But it's fine, we'll get in hip bomb. I know his Dragonite cannot one-shot me from Phil, so if he does go Dragonite, I am gonna click. I'm gonna click um Slack off. I know he cannot kill me from full. Probably clicking Draco or something. Because I know you're mixed. And with Hippowden being at full HP, uh, we can definitely do a lot. Because I just expect the Conkeldor being uh, life warped. But having this at full HP, really helpful. Dragonite gonna die to rocks, uh, rocks plus sandstorm if he switches out. He already dropped a special attack, so don't confuse me, please. Okay. He didn't have the balls to click hurricane, so that's really awesome. And this miss, miss. Why aren't they missing hurricanes? Come on. No, don't do this to me, please. Why are they always hit hitting Hurricane? This is such bullshit. Okay, the moment of truth. I have no, I have no switches for this, so it is facade. Okay. Wait, wait! His play mark wasn't activated. <laughs> okay, that's hilarious. I want this guy uh, healthier than this. Attacking Reuniclus now. Now that I know he's set. I'm gonna die to Facade anyway, so... But I want to reset the Sandstorm, so I can spam Slack off versus him. There we go. He facades. I just keep clicking slack off because if I get Conkeldor into range of... I just... I just stay to... With, I'll just stick with full HP. And now I'm gonna Earthquake what's in front of me. A spicy game at the end though. I can still go either way, but... Okay, he goes Gengar first. Does he have Energy Ball? Hold up, does he have Energy Ball? Gengar. I know he's not spec, so... Gengar versus... Gengar versus Hippowden. Just need to know if, if he has Energy Ball. That's the only thing I could do. Yeah. Energy ball into Flash Cannon could win him the game. Weavile. Doesn't do a KO me. Okay. Going into Weavile here. If he has energy ball, he can win. He goes for Shadow Ball. Perfect. This is actually perfect. Now I can just click Pursuit. 
he's scarfed indeed. So I should be able to knock him out here. And now I get to use struggle on the Magnus. <laughs> so we should be winning here. I have a full HP hippo. Hippowden always coming clutch for always coming through for us. And he decides to forfeit and we win the game. And that is veteran trainer this season. Again. Easy. So yeah. A few unfortunate losses, but uh hey. We still won most games. Yeah. Some of these losses sh shouldn't have happened. Sometimes matchup matchup is just horrible. I'm just surprised that my opponent didn't go for Stealthrock turn 1. But yeah, the moment I killed Aerodactyl, I didn't didn't really need me and Shao. But most Aerodactyls don't run something like Aerial Ace, and besides, I don't think Aerial Ace would knock me out. If I'm being honest. Let's check it out, me and Shao versus this. Yeah, actually, actually, Aerial Ace could kill me after Fake Out, after, after Life or Recoil, so... But I'd never see uh, Aerial Lace on Aerodactyl. Anyway, uh, my voice is getting a bit sore, so I have to end up the video. I still hope you enjoyed the battles I provided today, especially the last one. I think that one was a bit spicy. It's always spicy playing versus offense. And yeah, like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill. Uh, check me out on Instagram and check out the Patreon if you are interested in this team. There's a poker paste on Patreon. And yeah, join the Discord server. With that all being said, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.